Hello, it's me, it's Shrewboy313, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Definitely forgot its name for a second, I won't lie. Um, <laughs> in the last episode, we started making our way through Dionysia, I think, or into the desert at least. Like, in terms of our to-do today, we need to head back to Dionysia, which, um, apparently we can just zoom straight to the next battle, and I did not know that was a thing. So I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not off to a great start, apparently. <laughs> hey, girl. Cesar Salad. What's going on, Cesar? Why are you attacking the Harbin? It's been a while, eh, your highness? Seriously, did no one ever tell you about barging into places uninvited? <laughs> what business is it of yours? Four more years of training and still you lack the discipline to stay out of others' affairs. I'd hoped you I'm just a nosy life. bitch, baby. <laughs> Alas, you're the same thoughtless child as ever. Yeah? And if I'm thoughtless, then what are you? Or have you forgotten all the stupid things I've seen you do? Prince Paltalot. <laughs> How terribly sophisticated you've been. Why? Stop it, both of you! Is this really the time or the place for your bickering? In case you've forgotten, we came here to try and talk Cesar around. Talk me round? Am I to take this to mean you have turned your coats and sided with the Harbins? <laughs> you will regret that. Justice will be done. And those who betray our realm will suffer the judgment of steel! Girl, what is going on? I literally don't even remember. Please, you have to listen to reason! Your friend is in no mood to listen. We have no choice. And we'll be needing your help if this is going to end well. Okay. Once he gets that look in his eye, there's no talking to him. You're right. We never could get through to him when he was like this. We sure couldn't. He's clearly got some stupid idea in his head, and we're just gonna have to beat it out of him. Let's go! <laughs> okay. No, ooh! Hold on, I'm doing- I'm fine. <laughs> Why are they both looking at me, these armors? Rude. <laughs> Should we not be like focusing on these infernal armors first, or am I making this up? But he does smell, that's what you're saying though. Where'd the armor go? <laughs> I think I just launched it by accident. <laughs> uh, yeah, if Helix could help me, or Tornico, either of you. Ooh! Right. Uh, um, could you all help? Thank you. Ow, ow, I'm nearly dead. I'm dead. Never mind. Oh god, why did it just go to like three frames a second? Move, please. I'm doing something. Right. This is a mess already. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh my god, that was a mess. So I can't even like move the camera around. I just have to go with what it wants me to do. Oh, look at that, he uses both fire and ice. And then, like, Teresa and Lazarill, one uses fire, the other uses ice. That's cu that's cute, I guess. <laughs> oh, I didn't- I did not realise how big this arena was. <laughs> like, I've straight up just run away from him. Excuse me, I'm busy, Cesar, I'm doing something. <laughs> I'm fighting your underlings. Scoop. Oh, okay, thanks for healing me, whoever just healed me. I appreciate it. 
Right, his armor's dead at least. <laughs> now it's time for this train wreck. Hold on. Ooh. We good. We good now. <laughs> Hold on, give me a While they attack, I'll just heal myself a bit. Oh, there we go. Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that didn't... If y'all could leave me alone... That would be stellar. See, I've died it. Oh, mess. An absolute mess. Oh, okay. He's doing that. <laughs> he's doing that loser behavior again. <laughs> Summoning minions. That's fine. Like, as long as I don't stop, I'll be fine. Ow. Could y'all leave me alone, you little weenie? Ah, oh well, it's over. I'm gonna die again. Could y'all- where is everyone else? <laughs> Literally, where is everyone? Yeah, well, I'm aware because I'm getting beaten the hell up and none of y'all are helping. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just gonna grab this. Right, at the very least, I can just mash on him a bit now. At the very least. Come on, you little rat man. Oh, bye, Tornico. <laughs> I hope this stuns him again. I hope. Oh, it has. Rough! Attack him, you clown! I love the way this fight is going. Also, <laughs> why is this so much more difficult than any of the other- <laughs> than anything else we've done this far? Like, I feel like the difficulty's been ramped up, like, a lot. <laughs> I mean, thanks for the leave me alone, rat boy. <laughs> See, I was hoping at the very least we'd be able to get a couple of medals from the, like this group of monsters, but allegedly not. Oh, good. One. Bye. I, I can't even see where he is, but you know what? We're just gonna beat the boy up, still. <laughs> Wait, oh, thank you. I was gonna say, where's Tornico and why isn't he healing us? There we go. Right. If this doesn't finish off the fight, it'll, it'll bring us very close. <laughs> Oh, clown behavior boy.
Oh, I've still got one thing left. We'll be fine. Not me forgetting what uh Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Look, if Tornico isn't going to heal me, I'll do it myself. There we go. See? <laughs> Ooh. Hold on. There we go. And all it took was a man with 12 crossbows. Oh, you're fine. Time for a nice sit down and a cup of tea. Well, we didn't manage to talk him round, but at least we managed to stop him. I've never seen Cesar lose control like that before. What could have happened to him? Well, we'll find out soon enough after... After all, whatever it is, the fates of the two countries are resting on it. Speaking of which, we'd better head back to Accordia. The High King will want to get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Well, it's over. <laughs> yeah, let's save. Hey, how y'all doing, Accordia? We're back. Ooh, wait, is everything open now? Oh, she's not yet. Um, Right, let me talk to Desdemona first. Lady Desdemona. The prince's hearing is to be held in the throne room. The necessary preparations have been made as we speak. Thank you. Desdemona, you've got to let us be there. We're going mad worrying about what's been going on with Cesar. Outsiders aren't usually allowed into proceedings like these without the High King's permission. But you two did display a crucial role in all of this. Alright, I'll talk to his radiance and see what I can do. Thanks, Desdemona. In the meantime, why don't you take a look around town? It looks like a few new places have opened up shops since we were last here. Right, there's one thing that I'm... Oh. Oh, she's opened and... Right, but the first thing is... If I believe the Abbey has opened up now for us, I think... I'm finally able to receive you. I can assist you in changing your vocate. Yes. Change my vocation. Change my vocation. Change my vocation. Right, I'll change my vocation. Teresa, I would like to be... Hmm. I would like to be a priestess, actually, and I do have a reason for this. Also, I kind of want to be a mage. Ugh. I want to be... I want to be a magic user. I know that. But I'll go with priestess for now. Actually, you know what I can do? I can... I'm fairly certain I can, like, obviously switch my thing. But then I can go, like, look at the... What is it? Right, yeah, I need to change my equipment as well. Uh, I can look at my skills. That's what I'm after. <laughs> uh, Reheal. Multi-heal. See, this is why I want to be a priest. Kabuff and multi-heal. So I can be the healer, basically. So I don't have to rely on anyone else. Um, now I do just want to take a quick look at what the change of location, at what the mage is like. Because obviously the martial artist and the thief, they're just going to be like attackers, essentially. But I do want to see where the mage can go. Because if the mage is, you know, like nearer from the first Dragon Quest heroes, that would be an absolute serve in itself. Hmm. Well, that really doesn't help me. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look it up online, so I'll be back in a second. <laughs> right, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go with Priest, because online, the mage looked a bit lackluster, I can't lie. So, um... Now that we've done that, I... Wait, hold on. I need new equipment, don't I? Yeah, because I don't want to use spears. Oh, I don't want to use a club either. Um... Yeah, I'll use... <laughs> Look at that. That's so, so dumb. I love it. Um... Coup de gras damage. Yeah, reduce dance and... There we go. Um... 
I'll just see if this guy has any better stuff. Uh, right, we can buy new stuff for people. I won't do that just yet. Right, th yeah, this is all stuff I'll just do off screen. Um, hey, girl. Welcome to my little alchemy hut. This is where you can soup up your accessories using all sorts of ingredients. You'll find ingredients all over the place, in treasure chests, on monsters you've defeated. Bring them here and see what you can make. Oh, and seeing if this is your first time, let me get you started. Ooh, free slime earrings. Ooh, and a slime drop. So, oh, oh, I think if it's yellow, we can do stuff with it. Oh god, I remember that. Oh, I remember this. Um, oh well. Yeah, I'll upgrade one of the reckless <laughs> recklesses for one. For one deftness, I guess, so. Congratulations to whoever got that. Ooh, we'll have one attack as well. <laughs> Congratulations to whoever that was. <laughs> and then for the sake of slime earrings, because she gave us the stuff, we'll do it. A wig, okay. Right, and like the good besties that we are, well, they're still out. Uh, let's talk to Miss Quest Lady. Uh, ooh, you know what? I'll just, I'll take everything, like I, like I did in the first one. I'll just take everything, and for the most part, I'll just do them off screen. Like that's what I'll do. Oh god, some of them have time limits. Also, actually, I'll do some of these quests. Ooh. Right, um... You know what? No, I'm gonna head out to greener pastures as it is. So, because it's within ten minutes, I'll do it. I figure because I need to level up Teresa as it is. Ooh, hold on. Um... <laughs> let me set spells. Males... Oh, oh, oh! You better work, you haul. <laughs> a bit of an over exaggeration, but I think Maelstrom and Miracle. Yes, they were the moves that Nera had. You know what? Work. I'm a priestess now. I'm gonna stay as a. I'm gonna stay as a priestess. Right, and if I'm not mistaken, this will mean my like my attacks are what Nera's used to be, which I realise doesn't help anyone. But it's the. Yep, it's those. Right, okay, work. So, in that case, since we have to kill things quick, it was Platterpunks and Slime Knights, I'll just play as rough. Because Teresa's not going to have any at- oh god, there's a man over there, hold on. He'll have to- <laughs> he'll have to wait. So, like, at the end of this episode, I am just going to play off stream- stream? Off screen, and just- it's gr level grind. <laughs> Stunning. Right, okay. A uh, platypunk. Oh, you can take the form of one. Well, there's that quest done. <laughs> Actually, let me just see how strong is she. Okay, work. <laughs> I mean, she can kill things in here pretty easily. Right, also, before I go and turn in that other quest, how close... Uh, misc, misc, there we go. Yeah, so I can, so I can turn these two in, and then that'll open the bridge, and then I can go do the other one. I think, right? Also, yeah, um, I full on just never even acknowledged it. You can, you change your class in this game. You don't have to use a sword and shield. And like I said, I am gonna play as a priest. I, I'm probably gonna leave Lazarol as a warrior, just because I don't know what else I'd want him to be, honestly. I will say though, I think I might just make him a thief, honestly though, because mm, maybe I don't know. Um, <laughs> like I either want him to be a martial artist or a thief. Yeah, he can. You know what? He can be a. Mm, yeah, he can be a martial artist for now. Why not? I'm not. I don't think. You know, given that we got Maribel and Ruff, I don't think I'm going to be taking him with me for a little while. That was that point, if I'm being honest. <laughs> that was that point. Um, Should we go see the High King yet? Maybe. I don't know. You know what, let's report these quests are done. 
and then let's go see. Let's do that. Let's finish the video that way. That seems like a decent idea to me. Right, that bridge is done. And we've done this. So that bridge that I couldn't go over before is now open. Ooh, and a thousand gold. Ooh, hold up. Is... Is anything in here open? Um, I mean, besides que besides the achievement lady, no. Right, that's fine. Let's go and speak with Desdemona. Ah, there you are. The hearing's about to begin. You know where the throne room is, so come on, you should get over to the pinnacle as soon as possible. Oh, we don't... <laughs> Damn, we don't even get zoomed there. Like, that is not the energy we need in this year. Oh well, to the throne room we go. Oop, drama. Are we to understand that your attack on Harbour was in answer to some wrong committed against your father, the honoured King of Dunis? Well? Yes, your radiance. And I make no apology. The Harbans must pay for their crime. This man, their king, this faithless worm, <laughs> murdered my father in cold blood. <laughs> He's a worm? He looks pretty human to me. Slithering from his chambers like the snake you are. So you see, when we found this beside his body, it came as no surprise. And I oop. You deny that this is a feather from your magnificent crown. But, but I. I did not. I would not kill your father. I swear it. You dare lie so brazenly to my face. You who claim to be a leader of men. Silence. I stand by that we could just push that man down the stairs. <laughs> to celebrate the founding of Harbour. The king here was kind enough to welcome me as a guest, and he did me the inestimable honour of remaining by my side throughout. I doubt that even the most cunning of murderers could have stolen away from me, travelled to Dunisia, committed such a crime, and returned unmissed. Oh dear! The vengeance of prey is not to be found in Harbour. I suspect that rather than it having been the true king of harbour you saw, it was another, one bent on seeing him take the blame for this most despicable of deeds. You mean that I... I have been deceived? That his murderer was... TBC! Dun dun dun! Let's go to Clown College Ladies' classes in session. I take full responsibility for my actions. Your radiance. My life is full. Mm. Hold on a minute. Bit dramatic, but okay. How exactly is you getting your stupid head cut off going to solve anything? He's right. And besides, how can you bear to not find out? Don't you want to know who's really behind all this? He really said I was wrong, so I must perish. Admiral behavior, really? Clown behavior, absolutely. Like, he really said, I am the leader of this college, the clown college. Let me get into my car. There are 37 other clowns in it. Better that he live, that he seek out and apprehend his father's killer. That he help eliminate the source of that which led him down the path of war. 
but silent. Princess Arthur. It's so out of sync. Let us seek out your father's killer together. It's like a good second out of sync, I love it. I was about to say, what bald headed bitch is just spying on us? It's a chimera! <laughs> Forgive me, I accused you of being traitors and refused to listen when you tried to explain. You have every right to despise me. Oh, relax, the whole mess has been sorted out now. The High Kings pardoned you and the King of Harbour forgave you too. And besides, something awful happened to you. You weren't yourself. I still can't imagine who would have done such a thing. About that, we think there might be someone who can tell us more. Hey bestie. The crown I wore was presented to me some years ago by the Queen of Ingenia in the Eastern Forests. The Queen of Ingenia? Indeed, the feathers that are on it can only be found in that kingdom, and even there, they are a rare and precious commodity. What's more, the Queen is one of the world's greatest sorcerers. No spell is beyond her, not even morph. Right, not even Morph. Uh, what's that again? Oh, seriously, have you forgotten everything they ever taught us? It's a spell that lets you look like anything you want. Wow, really? That sounds like it'd be- Wait, you don't mean- Oh, of course, the Queen of Ingenia is probably the only one who could have had the feather and made herself look like the King of Harbour. So my father's murder was the Sorceress Queen. A bit of a, you know, bit of a thinking before acting moment, I think. Is needed here, you know? Right, so we're off to Ingenia then. To me, that sounds like a pretty ingenious plan. <laughs> right, this is our gonna come with us. Is this what we're leading up? There we go. I was about to say, is this what we're leading up to? Cesar joining us. Stunning. <laughs> Cesar, the princely powerhouse, wields a great sword and battles with both strength and sorcery. His fissure slice skill can damage even distant enemies. His glacier strike ability lobs great lumps of ice at foes and temporarily imbues his blade with an icy enchantment for extra damage. Pop off, I guess. The three of us reunited at last, eh? Just like old times. There was never anything we couldn't do when we put our heads together. Hmm. Something tells me the problems we face these days are a little less... surmountable. No, don't be such a misery, Guts. We're ten times tougher than we used to be. Together we'll be unstoppable. Oh, work. Tag tricks. Pressing LT and changing... Okay. Okay, so they're another special attack, basically. Right, well, now that that mess is over... <laughs> I'm gonna leave this... Oh, hold on. I was gonna say I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm gonna see what this is first. Oh, okay, I'm guessing the way to Ingenia has been opened then. That's what this is. The first thing we need to do is go through the gate. That's fine. Only the east part. Okay. The forest is more dark and dangerous than the deserts we used to. We'll need to be properly prepared. That is fine, then. You proved in Harbour and Dinizia that you know much of battle, my young scholars. What do you know of the prophecy? The what? Yes. The very same. I'm not reading that out a third time. I'm not. <laughs> it both reminds of us of our vow to never make war again and the sins of our ancestors. You see, a thousand years ago, our world was ruled by two great kings. They were brothers. Twins, no less. But a great war broke out, both brothers perished, and the world was divided into the seven realms we know today. The prophecy is a message from our ancestors and warns us never to repeat the mistakes. It's also a reminder of the two great rulers who ushered in an age of glory. So they call it a prophecy, but it's not actually telling the future? It's a warning or something? Not quite. History has a habit of repeating itself. Should the current wave of suspicion and conflict continue to rise, 
then there'll be another war. And... And it won't be a warning anymore. Indeed, we must do everything in our power to stop it. Your mission to Ingenia is a vital one. Our hopes go with you. Well then, in that case... Oh... Hi, who's this? Hold on. <laughs> it's gonna bug me if I don't talk to him. Ooh, he's a blacksmith. I'm a humble blacksmith. Okay. Uh, if you catch me on my travels... Oh, okay. So if we see him out and about, just say hello. Right, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I might change... I might change Lazarus class at some point. Maybe not, who knows. Either way, off screen, I'm gonna go finish the other quest, sort out everyone's equipment, and level up a bit more so that Teresa could actually be useful. <laughs> so I'll see you then.